Hello everyone and welcome to the Shrimpy channel. In this video, we're going to talk about market orders and how to place them with the exchange. As you can see, I've loaded up my Shrimpy application and I've navigated over to the trading tab. I'm currently looking at the Litecoin USDT trading pair on Binance. As you can see on the left hand side over here, we have the order books. In the middle here, we have the trading chart for the price of Litecoin. And on the right side here, we have the trade history for the Litecoin USDT trading pair on Binance. As trades are executed on the exchange, you will see those trades show up right here on this right hand side in real time. So let's talk about market orders. Unlike limit orders, which require a price and an amount, a market order that we could see by clicking this button right here only requires an amount. So this is the amount of the order that you want to trade. Let's say, for example, you want to buy one Litecoin from USDT. All you'd have to do is input one Litecoin right here. It would calculate the amount of USDT that needs to be traded in order to buy one Litecoin. And then you could place your order by clicking the send by order. Before we send off this order, let's talk a little bit about what market orders do in terms of the order book. A market order when buying or selling will look at the current state of the order book and buy the best prices on the exchange. So in this case, if I'm buying one Litecoin, I will look at all of the different ask offers that are currently available on the exchange and it will systematically purchase the lowest price that's available in sequential order. So if a trade is executed at the first level that only partially fills my order, it will continue to purchase the next levels of the order book until I have purchased one Litecoin. The process of consuming multiple levels in an order book is called slippage. Unlike limit orders, market orders can have slippage. Okay, so before we go ahead and place this one LTC order, let's make sure that we have enough money to place this order. On the Shrimp application, you can use this toggle right here, this Litecoin USDT only toggle, which will then show you only those two assets that you want to look at. As you can see, the current price of one LTC is about $63.58. It looks like I barely have enough money to purchase that order. So let's go ahead and send this order. Okay, great. You can see the order has already been filled. We have the one Litecoin that was purchased at 2.20 p.m., which is right now. If you go over to the trade history, we can see all of the order was executed in a single trade. That means there was no slippage for this order. Okay, so now that we've placed an order to buy Litecoin, let's go ahead and sell it. Imagine at some point we, we bought Litecoin and maybe a couple days later, we noticed that the price has increased significantly. You could see on this graph here, say you bought down here where this little red candlestick is, but then the price went up and then you wanted to sell the Litecoin that you had purchased. You can do that in a similar way by doing a market sell back to USDT. So you bought Litecoin and now you're going to sell the Litecoin back to USDT. Let's do the same amount, our one Litecoin. And once I hit sell order, it will go through the same process of looking at the available bid orders that are available on the exchange and systematically taking these orders until the entire one LTC order has been completed. Let's go ahead and do that now. I look at the order history. It looks like this sell order has already been completed. Let's go ahead and check to see if, yep, and everything was processed in a single trade. That means we didn't have multiple trades execute sequentially. Everything was completed in a single trade on the exchange. Great, so I hope this helped explain the process for placing market orders and a little bit about the context of how these orders are placed on the order books. If you have any questions about market orders, don't hesitate to reach out to our team. We're always happy to help. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you in the Shrimpy application, and I hope to see you in the next video.